uh, thank you for this uh, opportunity to talking about our CUAV. Here today we will talking about CUAV new products. Uh, first, let me introduce the CUAV. Uh, we we was CUAV was founded in 2012. It is an open source uh, drone solution supplier. And next thing. After eight years of development, the main products are we, we have flight controller, data transmission, and video transmission, and 4G LTE network link, remote controller, and GNS in the singer, RTK smart battery, and so on. Its bakery covers all the com components of the drone. So CUAV will be guided for continue to innovation is can need to bring open source hardware to the industry market. We became a partner of Autopilot in 2015. We are one of the earliest Autopilot partners in China. So we are one of the largest Autopilot hardware manufacturers in China. And we are moving towards the interna international market. So we have sold to more than 70 countries for the CUAV products. Uh, we have launched uh, after eight years, we have launched UAV applications and 10 of pirates and 71 system models. Uh, let's see what we do. We, we make nine flight controllers like here. Uh, the make flight controller is page half and page three, V3 and V5 and V5 nano and dollar seven X7 and page half and V5, page half V3 is if FMG3 and V5 and V5 now no, we use FMV V5 branch. This NOLA and S7, this is new our new flight controller. Here we will, today we focus this flight controller. Uh, we also make the GNS line new one and new V2, new V2 approach and CRTK and base CRTK base. This is our, our new CRTK 90. And for new V1, we use, this is our GB, old GPS for MAN GPS. This new V2 and new V2 Plus is our new GPS. Here we, we see new V2 GPS, it integrates the faster and safe, safety switch and the RGB lines. The difference between this GPS, new V2 and new V2 Plus is new V2 we use UAV cam GPS. And for the RTK, CRTK, and uh, CRTK base, we use MANP. And for CRTK 9P, we, we integrate high performance for CRTK 9P, F9P. Uh, we also made a CUAV cloud. Let's see, 4G data and video transmission, airing and LTE ring SE. For dif the difference between this airing and LTE SE, it is airing only uh, sending the data and LTE SE. LTE Link SC, it can integrate the data and the video together. Also, we, we, uh, apply, uh, we have more applications like FAGO control station, CUAV GS, and FAGO transmission, CUAV cloud. And the user can uh, log in their accounts, can control the storm and anytime and anywhere. So let's uh, introduce the how to do, how to work for this. Uh, first, in this job, we install the LTE airing and LTE SE uh, by the 4G NAC to send the data and video to this EUAV cloud. And then uh, the data and video we can get in the mission planner. And the, the customer uh, can, you, can get the 
data and videos at any time uh, to launch in their account. Here we can see CIV Cloud can, can be know the detail and reader from this client. Uh, next, we have power and battery. Uh, this new, our new products, KMPMU and power manager units. And next, we, in the future, we will have a smart battery also. Uh, now today we focus on the S7 Autopilot, S7 Pro and NOLA. Let's see the processor, S7 Autopilot. S7, we use this processor STM32H7 and V5 Plus, we use STM32F7. You can see the frequency and the RAM much better performance. And let's see X7 Autopilot, the difference between V Plus and X7 Pro, X7 Nola. Here we can see uh, hardware standard. V5 Plus use MMEV5 and X7 Pro and X7 Nola, we use CUAV X7. And for the processor, we use STM32H7 for C and cancel this one, and we will be much high performance. For the sensors, we use this ADRSI16470. It also have a uh, more standard, more stable for this one. And we add the uh, uh, industrial compass for RM31070. It, it, can, it can integrate. Uh, anti-interference. Here we, we also have a BMI 0AA and to keep the low temperatures. So let's see the HUSB. This is new. For the first time we use USB to, to improve the speed. You can see a 7 Plus, a 7 Nola supports USB. And we can see this these are, these are X, X, S1 Pro and S1 Pro, we use 12 diesels. That's a big difference. And also for the power, we use UAV CAM PM. And S7 Nola also use UAV CAM PM. We also keep the analog PM in S1 Pro uh, autopilot. For the design, uh, V5 Plus and X7 is the same. And NOLA is integrated, so this difference. Uh, also, the size for X7 Plus smaller than the V5 Plus. And the weight also much lighter. So you can see the difference here. Next, we can see uh, the advantage ADI sensors. You can see we add a, this one more high performance and more stable, right? Here, you can see the red and the green one. Uh, let's see this video. It's one of our buyer customers to let you see. Turn the muting. So we can see the uh, ID access. Yes. Let's introduce the HUSB. You can see uh, this drone. Many professional market UAVs pay by controller inside in this place. Uh, if you want to take out the SD card, it's very difficult, right? And then uh, if you use the USB, expand the USB, we can uh, include the speech. Like as usual, USB. USB speed of a sitting flight controller is like this 7910. And then if you use a 7 of pilot, it will be increased at 6 to 10 times for the speeds. So that's high performance. Uh, that's all for our today's speaking. Uh, do you have any questions for this?